Hello YouTube people, this is Jason again, just thought I'd uh, send you a quick little video on uh, tool libraries on Fusion 360. So many of you have either Vectric, VCarve, or Fusion 360 like I do. Well, there is a little trick to get faster bit input into your tool library than having to manually put them in by measuring and using the data that you might get with your bits. You can also go to Amount of Tools, and Amount of Tools will have a Fusion 360 library of all their bits. Now, some of their bits are like almost identical, so they have the same feeds and speeds. So, check on their charts, and they will show you which ones are like identical, like the eighth inch bits. Some of them have the same feeds and speeds. They also have a Vectric download. You could download these into your program. Now, with Vectric, you're gonna have to read all the information down here how to do it and they tell you in installation as you can see right here i'll tell you exactly how to do it so download into a safe location and then your software open the tool database and use import option to load a file into your safe location so for fusion 360 all you gotta do is go up to your uh, Go in your, of course, your manufacturing. Then you go to your tool library. Once it's open, over here where it says local, see, I already have it in there. But when you right click it, it'll say import libraries. So you click import libraries, and then you find where you put your file, which I put on my desktop. And here's a mono tools library. Once you load that up, I'm not going to do it because I already did it. Once you load up, these are all their bits. Okay. And if I expand this out just a little bit so you can see. If I'm right, which it should be. Yeah. There's their part numbers. They got the part numbers for the bits on here. So you can just find them by their part numbers. And then just use them. What I do is... I will find my bit, I will right click, and I'll add copy it, the tool, and then I'll just go into my library over here, and I'll right click, and I'll paste it in. So like you see, here's one 51470 16th inch O flute for aluminum and plastic. That one's in there. That's one I bought. So by doing that, it already has all your feeds and speeds set up what is recommended by the manufacturer. So you don't even really have to touch it. Now, if you did, you can go back into your post-processing, you know, edit your post-process. And once it loads up, sometimes Fusion is a little slow. I apologize, my office computer is a little slow on this. Okay, so now it loaded up. So you see it's got number 20, which is my 1 8 bit. Let's see if I can highlight it. The 46341. It's their bit in there at 18,000 RPMs. These are their settings. I didn't change these. Now, I know this bit can do more than... 0.002 feet per two. They can go up to like four or five. So I usually set it about three. So if you watch the magic at 18,000 RPM, let's set it at three. Boom. It changed from 72 inches per minute to 108. Now, the only thing it didn't change is down here is your ramp and plunge. I do 50 on this 1 8 inch bit. Even in black walnut, I do 50. 
So then you're getting 0 0.003 feet per tooth, 108 inches per minute cutting feed rate at 18,000 RPMs. There's nothing else to change for your feeds and speeds in a Fusion 360. You're done. So now you just got to go to the rest of the tabs, tell you know what you want to select, the depths, heights, your passes, and your linking. And then after that's all done, boom. My part had said eight minutes. Let's see what it says. And it loads up. It should generate. Again, like I said, I apologize. My computer's just a little slow today. Must be because of the day after the 4th of July. <laughs> So remember that eight minutes and 14 seconds but right now just so you know i'm gonna come over by the screen so you got the model tools has fusion 360 and vetrix library he's already built in for you to download now you can also go to white side router bits and they have a fusion 360 library i didn't see any other library on here but they have fusion 360 so if you use fusion 360 they have a library all their bits as well i have not seen any other ones for other brands but this may help you when you're using Fusion 360 or the um, Vetrix program so you don't have to create all your bits. Hopefully this helped you out guys a little bit. A little more extra education for you. And I also went back. So my file, just that changing that, that feed per tooth, went from 814 to 532 for time. And I know those bits can do it because those are the spectra coded bits. They can handle hard, fast, deep cuts. Take it easy, guys.